Hey everyone, this is Michael from Brighton Musical Circuits. This is the new BMC 115 uh, diode low pass filter with resonance loop. Uh, this is based on the BMC 80 uh, diode low pass filter module that I did a while ago. Uh, I've got one right here that I'm going to use over the course of this demo. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty different. Um, uh, I've added this input attenuator and uh, I've lost one of the CV inputs. And instead, I now have a resonance send, a resonance return, and then two resonance knobs. This is our internal resonance, which just works like the regular resonance from the old version. And this is our external resonance. Uh, so this is attenuating what gets sent back from the resonance return. Uh, and then we have this inverter switch down here that this uh, either inverts or doesn't invert uh, what's coming in from the resonance return. So basically what this does is you can have a resonance loop where you can patch the resonance from this module to another module and then back to it. So what's getting fed back as your resonance has already been filtered or VCA'd or whatever you're processing it through. And with this, you're able to create some like kind of more complex sounds. The first patch I'm gonna show you with this is gonna be it with as just a voltage controlled resonance using a VCA over here. Uh, and I'm gonna clap my hands and then that's gonna be patched up. Okay, so we've got this hooked up. Uh, right now there's no resonance at all. I'm gonna turn up the internal resonance. So you can hear it get a little thin and more focused on just that filter frequency. Uh, and now I'm gonna turn up the external resonance. And so that is being sent to this VCA over here and sent back. Uh, with this envelope controller up here, controlling how long it's on for. Let me mix in a little bit of the internal resonance as well. the external resonance and then turn it mix it back in and turn the internal up a little more but, but so with this uh, it's gonna be canceling out this inverted external resonance should now start canceling out the internal resonance and so we should have the opposite uh, action from the envelope generator that we're now going to be taking uh, resonance away uh, from this piece from this uh, external resonance too high with this it's gonna have positive feedback and we'll start getting a, a lot of distortion so you have to be a little careful when you're doing it this way um, uh, but yeah that's a, a basic kind of patch uh, with this let me add in uh, frequency modulation 2 to that so this envelope is our frequency and this is our resonance Let's uh, hear it through the high pass filter. We'll just move right to left and movie magic. So now we're going through the high pass filter. Uh, and so this is going to our external resonance. Uh, and so basically we're sending back negative feedback that has some of the bass cut out. Uh, and as a result, we're getting this big bass boost instead of a bass cut like we would normally get with a resonance control. Uh, the resonance control low pass filter. And 
And we have a little bit of resonance on the high pass filter itself too. Uh, so that's creating also this uh, little bump in the, the bass that's then going to get uh, filtered out. That uh, it, it all gets kind of complicated as you're uh, running filters within filters. Um, but it's fun. Uh, it's, there's a lot of possibilities with this kind of thing. And that's with the internal resonance turned up a bit. Turn that back down. Uh, and I'm going to invert this. enough of that let's try the low pass filter in the feedback loop next okay so we've got low pass filter within the filter loop of our other low pass filter uh, we can see our frequency knobs are at different positions uh, this one's at about 9 and this one's at about 12 let's set them there uh, and let's turn up the resonance uh, that's being filtered through another uh, low pass filter start to hear that the uh, the sweep from this filter is affecting our output here. And let's turn the resonance up here on this external filter. turning up our internal resonance and turn that frequency down a little and see how this sounds. Hmm, not much. Yeah, I'm surprised that didn't do more. I could play with this thing for a while. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, there's a lot of other uses for this module that I haven't thought of yet. Uh, but, you know, if you like having a lot of filters, this is a filter that lets you put filters in your filters. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching.